हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ग्रामा क्लास टूडेज लेसन इज द पंक्चुएशन मार्क्स द कोलोन एंड द सेमी कोलोन लेट्स लर्न द सेमी कोलोन फर्स्ट वेल द सेमी कोलोन हैज द सिंबल ऑफ अ डॉट एंड अ कॉमा अंडर इट एज ए पंक्चुएशन मार्क द सेमी कोलोन इंडिकेट्स अ ग्रेटर पॉज देन द कॉमा बट अ स्मॉलर पॉज देन द फुल स्टॉप In other words a semicolon represents a more important pause than a comma does in a sentence Also remember that no space is given before the semicolon it comes right after the letter So now we are going to learn the correct uses of the semicolon in a sentence You see a semicolon is used to join two or more related independent clauses in a compound sentence when a coordinating conjunction is omitted in other words a semicolon may be used in place of a coordinating conjunction to join two independent clauses in a compound sentence for example mr mandela was a great leader people honored him in this sentence the two independent clauses mr mandela was a great leader and people honored him are joined with a semicolon because there is no coordinating conjunction to join them rain lashed lightning flashed thunder boomed in this sentence we have three sequential or related independent clauses joined with two semicolons instead of coordinating conjunctions so to put it simply instead of coordinating conjunctions such as and or but so yet etc we may use a semicolon to combine to coordinate clauses in a compound sentence well now learn another use of the semicolon if the independent clauses of a compound sentence have commas in them they are separated with a semicolon examples will clarify this rule better you see here in the first example the first independent clause has commas i play games such as carrom chess etc the second independent clause also contains commas i play outdoor games such as football cricket and hockey and these two independent clauses are joined by the coordinating conjunction and but in such a sentence before the coordinating conjunction we have to use the semicolon in the second example also all the three clauses have commas for enumerating or listing names the three independent clauses in this sentence are there were wild animals such as lions tigers and hippos there were reptiles such as snakes turtles and crocodiles etc there were birds such as peacocks woodpeckers etc in the zoo hence they are separated with semicolons in the sentence Moreover a semicolon is also used before conjunctive adverbs such as however therefore hence nevertheless meanwhile consequently as a result etc between two related and independent clauses in a compound sentence but remember a conjunctive adverb is always followed by a comma in the sentence in the first example here a semicolon has been used before the conjunctive adverb consequently and in the second example nevertheless is the conjunctive adverb joining the two independent clauses before which a semicolon has come up next is the colon mark it has the symbol of two vertical dots well let me tell you the colon represents a longer and more important pause than the semicolon but it is shorter than the full stop now i am going to explain the various uses of the colon mark first and foremost a colon is used to report or introduce a quote or statement in other words if a speaker says something or makes a statement a colon mark is used between the speaker's name and his statement or quote in direct narration for example in a conversation john says why are you upset and tom replies i have lost my mobile phone So here the colon is used to introduce the statements of the speaker. Similarly, William Wordsworth's famous quote, "The child is father of the man," has been introduced with a colon mark after his name. We also use a colon 
to mention a list or series of items or names in a sentence. Now look at this example. Along with the application, please submit the following. A photograph, the birth certificate and an address proof. Now notice the use of the colon mark to introduce the list of the necessary documents in this sentence. Another example for you. We are looking for a candidate as follows. Young, hardworking, ambitious and honest. Here also we see that the colon mark is used to mention the list of the necessary qualities in the candidate. That's why we use the colon mark after the expressions such as the following or as follows or as mentioned below. Moreover, if there are two sentences and the second sentence clarifies or explains the first sentence, we use the colon to separate these two sentences. For example, cricket is an interesting game is the first sentence here. And the second sentence, you cannot predict the outcome until the last ball is bowled explains why cricket is an interesting game. So here the second sentence gives a clarification of the statement in the first sentence. Hence a colon is used in between these two sentences. And make no mistake, the first letter of the second sentence is not capitalized here. I am in a dilemma, shall I resign or continue with the job? Here too the second sentence clarifies or explains my dilemma mentioned in the first sentence. Hence the colon is used in between them. Last but not the least, the colon is also used in ratios and between hours and minutes while telling the time. The train arrives at 7.45 pm. Note the use of the colon between 7 hours and 45 minutes. And then the gender ratio between boys and girls in our class is about 2 each to 3. The colon mark symbolizing the ratio here. So that's the end of today's class. If you liked the video, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more grammar videos. Thank you so much.